Today on Hook the Future, I'm fishing with my buddies Sarah and Aiden out of Mosquito Lagoon, busting the trout. Stay with us, guys. We got a great show. Mosquito Lagoon, there's just no other place quite like it. And the fishing, it can be epic. Giant redfish stalking tailors on the flats, huge schools of black drum, it's just an inshore fisherman's dream. A few weeks ago, I called my buddy Captain Shane Ryan to get an updated Cobia report from Canaveral. And when he answers the phone, I hear, real Sarah, real. Shane comes back to the phone laughing, sorry Don, we're out here in the lagoon waylaying the trout, what's up? I said, well, since the trout are biting and Shane has two ringer anglers and Sarah and Aiden, of course I responded, when can we shoot a trout show? So here we are. What do you got, Sarah? Put your hand in front of the reel. Put your hand in front of the reel. Here, swing him back in the boat, back this way. Good job, Sarah. That's the way to start. Listen to him. He's, he's angry. He's grunting a, a storm up, Sarah. Are you going to keep that one or not? No, I don't think so. He's a little too small to keep. Check him out. I want to touch him. You want to touch him? It's got a lot of spots on him, huh? Want to kiss him? See how they have those teeth in the front? They got those snaggle teeth in the front. Trout are mean guys. Even the little ones, man, they'll come up and eat a big bait trout will. He's excited, huh? Swing him back to me, man. Stay in the boat. Oh, that's a good trout. Don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. Hold what you got. Swing him right here, man. Right here. Aiden, this is a good trout right here. This is what we came down Mesquite Lagoon for right here. Man, look at this pole. I want to fish with this pole now. You want to, You like that pole now. It's a lucky pole, huh? Yeah, it's a lucky pole. Man, that's a good trout right there. Man. Got that Eagle Claw 141 BP hook right there in the side where he's supposed to be. Look at that trout, Aiden. That's nice, man. What do you think of that? I'll kiss that fish. You'll, you'll kiss that fish. I like that. Mmm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Salty, huh? Yeah. That's a nice fish. I'll tell you what, man. That, that's a nice keeper fish. Maybe we should keep that one for the box, huh? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Look how mean they are, man. Look at the mouth inside of them. Trout are mean guys. They'll eat a big bait. And um, usually where there's one, there's a bunch more, right? Yeah. Give me a slimy five. Let's go catch some more. Now that's the way you fish, man. Good job, man. Good job. This is how I tell somebody to catch a trout. When you feel when you feel something hitting, like boom, boom, that's a trout. See, let him have it. Let him have it until he starts pulling. So probably it is a trout or not. Could be other fish, but but when you, when it's a trout, let it eat it, and then and then when it starts running, real, real, yeah. That's what you do. You got him, real, real, real. Hold it up, uh, get him, Aiden. There you go, man. That's the way to do it. Keep him coming, keep him coming. Look at you, man. Man. They're good trout. This guy can fish. Now swing him over this way. Keep him out of the trolling motor. There we go. Man, he's not done. Another nice fish right here. All right. Good job, man. Good job. All right, Slade. Don't reel anymore. Don't reel anymore. We're going to put him in the boat. There we go. That's the way we do it. Yeah. Man. I'll let, him a little, I'll let you a little slack. You let me a little slack. Come back here, man. You know who's going to love you, buddy? Who? My mom. Your My mom, mom is going to love you. You know what? Come here. Yeah. I go tuna fishing, I catch dolphin, wahoo, tuna, even sometimes I get grouper, snapper, all that. And you know what my mom loves to eat the most? What? These guys right here. If I brought her one of these trout, she would be like, oh, I love you, son, it's so good. Not to say, Hayden caught it, not me, mom. Anyway, that's a nice one, huh? Here, don't drop him over. We're going to keep him, huh? You got him? Yeah. That's a good fish right there. You proud of that one? Yep. Yeah? What's the trick to catching trout? Tell the people at home what's the trick to catching them. What do you have to do to catch a good trout in Mosquito Lagoon? You gotta, you gotta, when you have those, 
when you get these things, you gotta wait for them to bite. You gotta wait for them to take it. Just like he just did on camera. Did you see how finicky he was to start with? He just he yeah. barely hit that pig fish and he didn't yeah. quite have it. And then you did just what Shane told you to do. You said you jigged it up the, the line just a little bit and made that pig fish fall up like that and sink back down and he nailed it, didn't he? Yeah. He did a good job, man. Let's put that one in the box and take it to my mom. She's gonna be happy I took him fishing. Give me a slimy five. Good job, man. It's coming for you, mom. Good job, buddy. Let's get another one. They're biting now. Don't go anywhere. Hook the Future will be right back. What'd you say? Heavy. It's heavy. Put that right hand in front. That's a good trout, Sarah. This girl can fish too. She was casting by herself and finding her own bait. Swing that trout in here, Sarah. Man. Here, that's enough to swing the rod tip by. Don't reel anymore. Whoa! Another trout in the boat. That's the way we do it. Give me a slimy five. Good job. What do you think about that? Yeah, I like it too. It's fun. That trout, we gotta get the D hookers for him. You got it good. Using these little pig fish for bait, we call them pig fish because they grunt like a pig when they get excited. But um, when we're free lining them, I like to take that Eagle Claw 141 BP kale hook and put it right behind their stomach there in the back, um, below the lateral line so they're swimming upward like this. And like you seen Aiden just a little while ago, he pulled back on that line and pulled it out of the grass and then he swam back down, pulled it out of the grass and swam back down and that trout nailed it. They love the pinfish. Redfish too. So anyway, let's stick it out there and see what we can find. Got the same size. We do have the same size. Pull him in here, Hayden. Let's see. Get this one off here. And he's barely hooked, but hooked good. There we go. That is a good one. Twins right there. Twins. Good job, guys. Here, let's let these, let me get this one out. You want to kiss that one? Yep. She's like, no. Okay, we're going to let this I one over the side. I can kiss it. You're going to hold it? Not right there. Not right there? Mm, okay, you want to hold it? Put your rod down and I'll hand you this one and then we'll get this one off. Is it good? Come up here and let's see that fish. Pull him out over the side over here. Let me get you to step back here so everybody can see you. Perfect. Ooh, that's a good one. He's going everywhere. Oh, there you go. Swing him in the boat. Don't reel anymore. Good job, Sarah. Give me a slimy five. Good job, that's the way to catch them. They're biting now, huh? All these fish are feeding on the flat here and they, all these pinfish are pushing off the flat into the deeper water and these trout are waiting to ambush them. Give me a slimy five, that was an awesome job. You wanna let this fish go? Here, you can grab him real quick. You know, a lot of girls don't like to touch fish. You don't have any problem with that, do you? Show the camera real quick. So that's a good one, huh? Yeah, it is a good one. Swim off to another day. Hit him in the tail so he takes off. There he goes. Perfect. That's the way to do it. If a friend came over, I, I would tell him all about today. And I would say that um, I went fishing with Captain Don, and it was really fun. And we caught lots of fish. Get him, Aiden. Does he feel good, buddy? Yeah. All right, keep him coming. Keep him coming. Let me step in behind you. Did he get off? Oh, oh he got off, Aiden. We'll put him back out there and get another one. Let's throw it right back out there. That guy's waiting for him. Here, Aiden, you hang on to that one right there. I got a feeling about that one. It's going to happen. I've seen him bite. Oh, he's biting again. Is he biting again? Yeah. Well, let's catch him this time. Does Sarah got one back here? Sarah's got one? Run up here, Sarah. Man, I got trout flying everywhere. We can't even get the cameras on. Sarah's catching trout. Here, hold this Whoa. rod, Sarah. Hold this one for me while well, I get this one off. That's a nice fish, Sarah. Perfect job. Perfect job. And his kale hooks get him right in the corner. Gotta have that easy claw kale hook right there. 141. Fishes can't hurt you and don't put your the only thing that could hurt you is if you put your hand in its mouth. But if you hold it by the edge and its tummy, it can't hurt you. You got him again. Pull him in here, Aiden. 
Aiden back here catching fish over my head. Damn. They're working cat and dawn hard today. That's a good one, Aiden. Get this guy to the hook here. You guys are blistering them now. Man. That, that one looks like it already got hooked. It did. You gonna give him a kiss? Right on top of his head? Mmm, that's a good one. Slimy five, mister. All right, see you, Mr. Trout. He's had enough love for the day. Boop. Let's catch another one. Boop. So as soon as we get on the bike, we start blistering the trout one after another, one after another, and look up, and a small little squall coming in. So we got to back off the flat a little bit and let this pass. Hopefully the fish will still be there when we come back. Cross our fingers. Stay with us for more action from Mosquito Lagoon when Hook the Future returns. Good job, good job. Keep him tight. Oh, over here he's going that way. Whoa, don't reel, don't reel, don't reel. All right, step back a little bit, Sarah. This is a good fish here. Point him over that way. Point and pull that way. You got him? Now you can reel a little bit. There you go. Okay, hold what you got and pull the pole up. Hold the pole up. There you go, get him, Sarah. That's a nice trout. Man, look at that one. Wow, that's a good trout right there, Sarah. Let's see, let's get him in the boat. Man, look at this fish. This is what we come to Mosquito. It is heavy. Let's see if I can get him in the boat. Man, that's a nice fish right there, Sarah. Man, Sarah, that's a nice one. Give me a slimy five. Good job, girl. Tail hook again, you can call 141 right there in the corner. You know, when they first, um, we used to flip fish trout with treble hooks on float rigs. And when they outlawed treble hooks, we thought, oh man, we're never gonna catch trout now because we gotta have treble hooks to catch trout. And they came out with those kale hooks. And I gotta tell you, the kale hooks catch just as many, if not more, than the treble hooks did. And um, gonna let the little ones go and get bigger too. That's a good job, what a nice fish. Sure you don't wanna kiss this one? Okay. Keep you go, keep him going, keep him going. Miniature, miniature, miniature. Swing him in here, buddy. Woo! He's heavy. I know, pull him in. Woo! There you go. Where are you going? Flying trout. Will you pull him in the boat? Give me a little slack here. There we go. Nice trout. Another one. Got the grass on him. You got him? You gonna give him a big kiss for the camera? Yep. All right, no, give him. no, no. No, no kiss? He's not too he's not pretty enough for the kiss? Oh, come on. What's that, what's that fish do that the other fish did? Oh, okay. All right. Nah, that's right to do it. Put him in there. He's well loved and ready to go back. You can tell his friends that's the way you do it. Slimy five. Real slime. Trout slime from Mosquito Lagoon. Yeah? Yeah. Want to do it again? Yep. All right. Yeah, hold that pole, Sarah. Is he still there? Keep going. Yeah, he's pulling hard. This is a good fish right here. It's a good fish. Good job, Sarah. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Oh, man. Yeah. Wasn't ready for that bobber to go down, were you? No. Keep them coming, keep them coming. Swing them over to this side over here. Good job, keep reeling, just keep reeling. Steady reeling. You got this trout, he is not going anywhere. Okay, stop reeling, swing him into the boat. Whoa, well, don't let go of the pole. There you go, nice job. That's a nice fish, nothing wrong with that. Real trout slime five. Ooh, good stuff. Ooh, yes, yeah, you gotta wipe it. You can save that and wipe it on your dad later. It's good stuff, huh? You wanna let him go? All right. Sarah likes to grab the fish, so we're gonna let her do it. Here, hop down here. I like a lady who doesn't mind handling the fish. Here, turn around to the camera. What are you doing? There we go. You got him? Perfect. Slide him down in the water, nice and slow. There he goes, swimming off. Oh, there he goes. Turn that handle, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Get him, get him, get him. That's what we want, Sarah. Man, giving you guys the bobber and you're not even noticing it's going down. These fish are hitting so fast. I like it. Shane knows where they're at, huh? Does he feel pretty good? Yeah. Yeah? You like fishing? Yeah. What's the funnest thing about fishing to you? Catching fish. Catching fish, that's a good answer. How is he still on here? He's still on there, it's a little guy. And he's still on there. Here you go, swing him in the boat. He's coming right there on the float rig. Swing him up. Whoa, good job. The little man. fish is still on there too. They still got the bait fish. And man, you, you hook them good when you hook them, girl. Give me a slimy five. Good job. 
There we go. Not too worse for wear. You want to let him go? Here, you, I'll let you step down here. I tell you what, I like a lady who likes to let her own fish go. There you go. Set them in right head first. Ready? Kaploop. Nice job. He's off swimming for the hills. Good job, Sarah. Let's do it again. Sarah and Aiden keep putting them in the boat when Hook the Future returns. Hook the Future is brought to you by Salt Life. Live life unanchored. By Andy, the line of champions. By Scout Boats, discover more. By Float On, there's only one real Float On. And by Odyssey, the extreme battery, extreme power, performance, and reliability. On this week's Gotta Have It segment, you gotta have a float on boat trailer. Whenever you buy a new boat, trust it to nothing less than a float on. You want your investment riding on the best, and that's a float on. They use the best components, the best materials, and they build the best trailer. You gotta have it. There's only one true float on. Check them out at floaton.com. You gotta have it. What do you do when you're not fishing? Do you like to do other kind of stuff? Do you play other sports? or What do you like to do when you're not fishing? Well, I do horseback riding. Do you really? Yeah. Yeah, what's the name of your horse you ride? Uh, I ride lots of them. Oh, really? Yeah. What kind of horseback riding do you do? Do you really like barrel riding or something? Or are you just like equestrian stuff or just riding? Just ride. Just but ride? I do, you enjoy I do, it? I do a mix of stuff. A mix of stuff, huh? Hmm. Sarah the equestrian. I like it. Equestrian fisherman. Be kind of cool if you could fish off your horse, huh? Oh, that would be cool. That would be cool. Come out in the flats, have your horse trot out here in the water. Only if it's not deep enough. I know. I mean, if it's not too deep. That'll be bad. Keep reeling, keep reeling. Pull him over to the side. He is on there. Nice job, Sarah. This girl can fish, man. She just keeps putting him in the boat. Wait, don't reel too much more. A little bit more and then swing him in. That's good. Reel up. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> swing him in. Will you swing him in? Hold the pole. There we go, good job, Sarah. Does he feel pretty good? Don't pull, just reel. I had this awesome day. It was so fun. I, I caught so many trout. I think we caught 30 of them. I had so much fun with Captain Don. He is the coolest guy in the world that I ever met of fishing. Here's the five bucks, man. I appreciate that, slimy five. Good job. You can fish on my boat again. He knows how to take orders, this guy. He can follow instructions. Good job. Good job, man. Another trout in the boat. How many trout have we caught today? I don't know. About like 20, I think. That's good when you don't know. That's a good day, huh? Give me yeah. a slimy five. Good job, man. You're catching them left and right over here. I I, I need to. I want to get a bait now. Want to get a bait and catch another one? Yeah. Okay, I guess we can do that. Who wants another one? Let's let this one go. Here my buddy Shane Ryan, man. I appreciate you putting these kids on the fish today. Hey, thanks for letting me come out. The kids had a great time. I had a great time. Now this guy, he, he fishes just about everything, inshore, offshore. Tell us about what you got going on down here around Mosquito Lagoon, Titusville area. Mosquito Lagoon is just a great area to fish this time of year because the pig fish are kind of starting to come in and they're getting bigger. And what happens is the trout just, just absolutely go off on these fish. So it makes for a great time for our kids to come out and spend the day with their dad, whatever, just having a good time. And, catching a ton of fish. The numbers are, are amazing. And why do the trout, why do the trout hate big fish so much? Well, rumor has it that the, the pig fish like to eat the trout eggs. Yeah. And thus the trout hate the pig fish. Yeah, I mean, so. even if they're not hungry, they seem to always, if they won't eat anything else, they're gonna you know, eat them. It, it seems like if there's a trout within 15, 20 yards of a pig fish, it's gonna come over and eat it. It's just, the, the more time you spend in a particular area, the more the bite kind of revs up because the, the trout start to hear the pig fish and it's just rapid fire like we saw it here today. Yeah, it started off a little slow and once we started getting them going, just like you said, I guess the hardest part was keeping baits in the water in between TV to keep the bite going fire. That's the exact truth because the most difficult part is, is not having a bait in the water because the longer you have a bait in the water, the more trout are gonna attract. The longer you keep the baits out of the water, 
well then, you know, they don't hear the pigfish grunting down there, so they, they'll start to scatter out again. So that's kind of what we did today. You know, we get some baits out there, we get the bite real hot, get, get chaos going on, you know, and then trout would scatter a little bit and then pop a few more baits out and boom, next thing you know, we got trout all over us again. Now I know you fish the lagoon, you get trout, reds, the bull red running here, you got black drum in the springtime, late winter and springtime, yep. and you also do offshore, cobia, yep. just about anything, right? Just about, I try to cover all bases. Try to cover all, how can people get a hold of if they want to go fishing with you? You can go to my website, it's uh, www.backwaterflatsfishing.com, or you can reach me at 386-566-9547. Can't recommend it enough. He's a fishy guy and he'll put you on the fish. Again, appreciate it today, man. We had an awesome time. Thanks for having me Running, out. Out running the storms, doing everything hey, backwards, yeah. but we put a bunch of fish in the boat and it's because of this guy right here. Give him a call and he'll put you and your family on fish too. What a day. I didn't even have a chance to eat lunch. Too many trout. Sarah and Aiden rocked on the boat today. These two can fish. Big slimy fives to my buddy, Captain Shane Ryan for putting us on the fish today. Captain Shane does it all, from inshore to blue water, every time I call, he's fishing. Nicaragua, the Bahamas, somewhere, he's fishing. But he knows what it's all about with the kids. Sarah is his daughter and she's on track to be even fishier than Shane. I can't wait to come back and do it again. Did you guys have fun today? Yeah! Take a kid fishing and do your part to hook the future. You'll be glad you did. <laughs> we'll see you next week, guys. All right, guys, let's head to the house. To find out how you and your family can take the same trip as you've seen on today's show and what's going on behind the scenes, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter or Instagram. If you want us to share your fishing photos, use the hashtag Slimy5 when posting your pictures.